Hello, welcome to the 26th Annual Leadership Recognition Awards Ceremony. I'm Chancellor Stephanie Hickswa, and I'm honored to speak at this event where we recognize and honor our outstanding students, our student organizations, and the associated staff who have demonstrated such amazing leadership throughout this year. And this year has been especially tough with COVID, so these awards are extra special this year. As MSUB's new leader, I wanted to share with you that I have gravitated toward transformational leadership throughout my career. What that is, is leaders working through influence and inspiration and inspiring others to achieve and reach for the stars and, and to find out that they can have unexpected and just remarkable results through empowerment. It's also where leaders work with teams and they work together to identify areas where they can improve or change and they execute these changes together. This really induces positive change in a way that I just see as, as such an amazing progress that, that we can make. And you know, in the short time that I've been here, I've seen the student leaders on campus do exactly that. I've had mentors in my life that I have watched use this transformational leadership strategy in their careers, and I try to emulate those examples. And I hope that I can set a good example for all of our students here winning awards today. When I was in college, I took advantage of leadership opportunities, and all roads lead to the chancellorship, right? So students, you never know what you can achieve if you don't put yourself out there. And by these leadership opportunities, you can get experiences that will not only improve your resume, but it will allow you to serve others, which improves you as a person and speaks to your heart. Service is what really makes us happy in our society today. By giving back to others, we can really make a difference. I am so proud of the student leaders we have at MSU Billings. You are making a positive impact on our university every day. You are making a positive impact on our community, in the communities from where you grew up and, and beyond. And I want to challenge you to take these leadership opportunities and serve into the future. With what you've learned, the sky is absolutely the limit on what you'll be able to do in your future. Congratulations again to all of our award recipients. You deserve it. Welcome to the Leadership Recognition Program. My name is Kim Hayworth. I'm the Vice Chancellor for Student Access and Success here at MSU Billings. I want to add my congratulations to each and every one of you for what you have invested in the MSUB community this academic year. You know, it's one thing to be a student leader in a normal academic year, and it's a whole other challenge and opportunity during uh, a worldwide pandemic like COVID-19. And what I have seen from the sidelines this year has been amazing. I have seen our student leaders pull off incredible programs, um, events, I've seen them really invest into the MSUB community and invest in the student experience. Our appreciation as faculty and staff is great. And to see you all operate in your different student organizations and the different roles that you hold, whether they're elected or they're volunteer or you're, they're paid positions, it's been such a joy to watch each and every one of you get involved in our campus community this academic year. You know, it's one thing to be a student leader at the beginning of an academic year. It's really easy in September to get involved in Welcome Week or orientation, um, but the true test of leadership is to carry that enthusiasm throughout the whole academic year from September all the way through April. And we're coming into the home stretch of the 2021 academic year. And I still see so many creative programs and opportunities for our students to participate in. And that's largely because of our incredible student leaders in all of our clubs and organizations on the MSUB campus. So thank you for your work. 
your creativity, your innovation, and your just enthusiasm for serving the MSUB community. You have truly enhanced the student experience here at MSUB this year, and we are grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you, and have a great ceremony. Hello! Oh, hello there. You How look amazing. I am great. How are you? I'm great. You know, just so happy to be here and wearing a dress for the first Real time. Real clothes! In, yeah, it, it, it's, been, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah quarantine did not treat us all well. Whew. At least it still fits. Well, I got a blazer on it. You don't know. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> well, welcome Yellow Jackets to MSUB's 26th Leadership Recognition Program. We're really excited to be here. We are a couple of your hosts. I'm Shiloh. You probably don't recognize me because I don't have a camera on my shoulder. That's okay. Sweet. Yeah, and I'm Brittany. You've probably never met me ever before, but maybe you have. Um, I have liked to describe our dynamic duo as the, um, well, less funny, less known, and, well, low budget version of Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. So <laughs> settle in. It's quite the wild ride, you know. We're it's going to be awkward. The Walmart brand versions. We are from New Student Services Very here true. at MSU Very Billings. True. So we're over in McMullen. And you probably interacted with us exactly one time when you got here and then never spoke to us again. So congratulations, you've completed your application <laughs> and you've been accepted to MSUB. We are just ecstatic, you guys, clearly, about being here with all of you tonight to celebrate our wonderful student leaders. You see, every single year we take time to acknowledge these leaders on our campus by celebrating their efforts. Leadership is more than a position. Say it's that. Courage, Come on. Compassion Preach. and the ability yes. to inspire change. Mm, mm, it's not easy. No. Give them a huge round of applause, all two of us. <laughs> and we want to thank you so much for joining us online tonight from the comfort of your home. Oh yeah, well that's right. Uh, before we forget, I suppose we should introduce our other, other co-hosts. Yeah. Unfortunately. So you'll be seeing Ed Brown and Aaron Like. Two of the three Stooges. And they're going to be fighting over who gets to read the names the entire evening. Settle in. And Andrew Bonner and Evan O'Kelly from Athletics. It's hard to stand in front of these lights, but when you're so used to being in a dark room, just watching scores, oh, these lights can be so oppressive. I really needed the social interaction. You'll also hear from some people who nominated the winners uh, and probably hear how the names are supposed to be pronounced. I'm just going <laughs> to say that off the bat. I'm sorry. Um, We're trying. Also Canadian, so I'm sorry. Um, so, and hear from some of our student organizations throughout the night. We're kicking off the night with our first award, Outstanding Member of an Organization. This award is given to someone who has been committed to the growth and success of this organization, who has shown up taken on that leadership role yes. and it's just been simply outstanding mm. at it. Out of this world. Amazing. Monumental. I think you make you a little carried away right there. I mean, I really was feeling that, actually. But also, never. Okay. <laughs> How about we get to our outstanding nominees? <laughs> uh, our nominees are as follows. You want to go? Yeah, I'll <laughs> let you carry that one. <laughs> Michael Voigt, Robin Cunningham, Christian Batista, Charlene Almer, and Naomi Norris. And the winner is... Somebody give us a card! Very sparkly, very... Ve <gasps> Naomi Norris! Pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew! pew. Okay. It's fine, I'm making my own noises. <laughs> We're a low budget operation. <laughs> but let's go ahead and turn it over to Naomi's nominator. She is the ASMSUB student resolution officer and I work closely with her as a student and as the SAP chair. The outstanding member of an organization is Naomi Norris. She is always there for students here at MSUB. I can see her endlessly working on campus in and out of the office. She attends MSUB events and helps engage students on campus. I've had endless meetings with her, and she's always engaged, asking questions, and pushing limits to make MSUB a better place. She is respectful, kind, and always thanking those who make a difference on campus. She is the backbone for ASMSUB, and I have admired her work ethic for the school 
all while attending full-time courses and working as a teacher. Naomi is willing to push students out of their comfort zone. She wants them to experience everything that MSUP has to offer. She is always there to talk and help make a solution for problems. Even during winter break, she was available and working hard for the students. She would never ask someone to do something that she wouldn't do. She is an outstanding member of the MSUB community. She is a student health ambassador, was a spokesperson at the MLK event, and ASMSU student resolution officer. Academically, she has made the dean's list and maintained a 4.0 GPA. She has a voice for MSUB, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for her. She endlessly supports MSUB to organizations, clubs, and events. She's engaging, fun, and kind. Congratulations, Naomi. Best deserve. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Ed Brown, the Director of Admissions, and with me I have Aaron Like, the Director of something you do on campus. Associate Dean of Students. Associate Dean of Students. Yes, thank you. Okay. We are co-hosts coming to you from a mysterious location. Very mysterious. Very. I've never been here before. Me neither. I don't I'm even not, know where we're at. But I'm cool. I'm not worried about yeah. it. Yeah. Why are we not worried? Well... Why would we be worried? Do you ever worry about anything? A mm, little bit, sometimes. As associate dean of students in charge of the dorms? Some of those things, yeah. Residence halls. Ed. Oh, I apologize. Yes, yes. Residence, I apologize. Residence, residence halls. Residence halls. Yes. So we are about to say something about who the next president is. Something like that. The have we done this before? The outstanding president of the year. Outstanding president outstanding of the year. President of Just the year. MSUB or of the United States. I could, I don't know. Or the world. Maybe. Oh, Let's way. stick with MSUB for now. Just for now? For now. Okay, and we are just in the back of the theater. I mean, that's we? where we are, I think. Are we in Billings or are we in Great Falls? Billings. Are we sure? Yes. It's been a long week. I guess we'll move on to the next thing. <sighs> okay, but first I was going to say the award as a student has shown excellent leadership in their organization to achieve their goals while also providing support and encouragement to their members. We have a, quite a list of outstanding presidents this year. Do you know who the nominees are? I don't. I, I think I, I do. I think you know them, right? I do know the nominees. The problem is, Tell is everybody. my name is Ed Brown and I barely can pronounce that. So yeah. this might not be easy to pronounce that, but I'm going to do my best. No judgment if I get your name wrong. I'll help out if you can't okay. it. Morgan Searing, Caitlin Gillen, Izzy Streisich, Daniel Lurie, Asad Khan, Harona Kulibali, close, close. That's good. And Emerald Hart. The only thing I don't understand is how do we know who the winner is? Like, where would we find that information? I, I have it on my script. I brought them with me. You don't have anything in your hand. I don't. Do is you it want it in your coffee cup? No. Are you ready? No. I think this no. first one might be. Well, let's let's. Let's do a drum roll and then wherever you have it. Okay. I think it's in my shoe. Oh, dude. So okay. Do I have to touch it? Yes. It's a little soggy. One's a little. Did you run before we had this? No. Okay. But there's your winner. Outstanding president of the year. <clears throat> the out. Oh, my goodness. It's stuck together. Tell the outstanding president is Kaylin Gillen. Let's hear one from the people who nominated her. Congratulations to Caitlin Gillen for winning the Outstanding President of the Year Award. I nominated Caitlin because she has created a fun and welcoming environment for students to enjoy on campus through the Student Activities Board. It is the mission of the Native American Achievement Center to help recruit and retain American Indian students at Montana State University Billings. The office will serve as an advocate for students pursuing post-secondary educational opportunities at MSU Billings, Extension Services, and City College by providing academic and student support to students while encouraging their individual, social, cultural, and emotional growth. So far, the support of the Native American Achievement Center, students are able to show off their full potential and retain their focus as we went through this dreaded year of 2020. I have envisioned that this year, students would be more stronger and more adapted to their learning environment and to provide the best of their abilities as students.
Oh, please, please, come on. This isn't for us, this is for the students. Hold the cheering for the students. <laughs> they deserve far more than that. And before we introduce ourselves, congratulations, Caitlin. Soak up the glory. Soak it in, Caitlin. Well, I'm Evan O'Kelly, Director of Communications in the Athletic Department here at MSU Billings. My name is Andrew Bonner. I'm the Director of Operations and Athletics. Well, Andrew, I'm excited to be here today. We're honoring some outstanding students and some well-deserved awards being handed out today. It's time for our next award, Outstanding Academic Leadership. This award is given to the student who has shown mastery of leadership in the classroom through projects, research, and showing dedication to their academic endeavors. Truly amazing. The nominees for the Outstanding Academic Leadership Award are Angel Shandy and Elizabeth Fisher. And the winner? Let's see. Ooh, good toss. Angel Shandy. Now let's turn it over to Angel's nominator to hear from them. Congratulations, Angel, on winning the Outstanding Academic Leadership Award. Your nominator couldn't make a video, um, but I did want to read a few words from her. Angel is a star example of being committed to her schooling, her family, and her future. She is a foundation in the art department for her work with the club and the art history classes. 100% is never enough for her, and she will strive for the best while helping others to achieve their best. Angel also is a warm, energetic presence that pulls students into the club and involves them at every opportunity. Uh, she adapted her successful SI practices for WebEx meetings while also adjusting her own online coursework. She and I are actively moving forward on an exhibition proposal for the largest art event that will take place this year. Her art has been accepted into several shows and she has been accepted into an illustration society. Congratulations, Angel. Oh, aren't we back? Oh, oh, we're back. We're recording. <laughs> sure, okay. sure. Smile. No, smile and look happy. Come on, come on. I think this is a mistake. Is this the right script? Are we live? Moving right along no. with a swoosh, the next award is for a student who has shown leadership on and off the field, who has great sportsmanship and character. They have mean skills, but they go the extra mile. Don't roll your eyes. You know it's true. The last part was a bit much, but we have some great nominees for the athletic leadership award and they are mason powell and mitchell winter two of our yellow jacket baseball players congratulations guys and it looks like mason powell has won the athletic leadership award but check out the video sent in by mason's nominator he looks very familiar pretty good looking guy if you ask me Bing. congratulations to mason powell for being nominated the winner of the athletic leadership award I nominated Mason because he is a great leader on our baseball team and is the vice president of our student athlete advisory committee. As vice president, he has helped our student athletes make a difference in the community by helping others in need. Mason always goes above and beyond to lead by example and makes others around him better. One thing that sticks out to me about Mason is his integrity and positivity. I always have people tell me around campus stories about Mason helping out others or making a student feel more comfortable or included. I'm excited to have Mason win this award as I couldn't picture someone as deserving as him. Congratulations, Mason. Hi, my name is Glenn Welch. I'm the campus minister of the United Campus Ministry at MSU Billings. And we're here at the Autism Club meeting uh, on, the, on a Friday. Uh, my name is Natalie. I am a peer minister for the museum, and I am also here at um, Autism Club. Uh, yay! <laughs> Autism Club is a place where people with autism or allies can get together and just chat and kind of have um, a support system and lots of different stuff. We play games, watch movies, um, and funny shows. What a great video. Great video. Great video. Great and video. we're back. Our next award is for an emerging student leader rising from the ashes like a phoenix, reborn from... I, I don't know what Phoenix do. Oh, they do that. But wait a minute. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, mm -hmm. there was a phoenix that rose from the ash. They like die, but then they come back alive through ashes? Is that, yeah. Does that make any sense at all? Yeah. Okay. Emerging student leader. Emerging so they're emerging leader. from the ashes. Yes. And flying away? Do it. I can't emerge from ashes. Okay. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. 
Honored viewers, we are celebrating a student who's rising up to be actively involved on campus for the very first time in learning what it means to be a leader. We were right, except we missed the leader part. Right. How do you determine which Phoenix is the leader in this situation? I'm not sure, but how cool, right? You know, oh, emerging I know. This is amazing. Emerging. student leader, isn't it, that what it's about, to emerge? That's a great thing. Yeah. It takes a lot of work, too, because you got to break out of that shell. Yeah. Hence, breaking out of the egg into the ash. Let's just announce I'm excited. Who the I'm excited are. for you to tell announce. us who the nominees are. Is that because the names are hard? They're a little hard. Our nominees are Joelle Behold, Harper Carr, Riley True, Jamie Eckert, Samantha Eater, Basan Abdieva, Kavi Fix, Eric Allen Verthaler, Greta Wentz, and Ever McJunkin. Great job. What a great list of students. Amazing list of students. And you know, great job. All great jobs. Do you have the winner? Because I, I do. still don't have the winner. I do. Please don't tell me. It's, it's not in my shoe. Thank you. Thank I think you. it's in my pocket. I hope it's in your pocket. Oh. Your other pocket? You have four pockets. Um, wait, wait, wait. Are those the five pocket jeans? Here it is. Oh. Congrats on everyone who was nominated for this award, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Tell we got us. got the winner. The student leader, emerging Emerging. student leader award belongs to none other than Kavi Fix. Oh, congratulations. Let's hear from Kavi's nominator. Congratulations, Kavi, for being named this year's emerging student leader. I nominated you because the housing professional staff has just been blown away by your growth this last year. You have continuously shown us your willingness to take a stand, to problem solve, and just to support those around you. Your potential for growth is limitless and your strength of character is astounding. We can't wait to see where you go in life because we know it's gonna be amazing. The next award is for Outstanding Student Volunteer. This award goes to the student who has demonstrated leadership on campus and out in the community by volunteering their time and energy. The nominees for this award are Bree Barron and Jeffrey Fleshing. Congratulations. Let's find out who the winner is. Bree Barron! And let's hand it off to Bree's nominator. Hi Bree, I just wanted to say that you are very deserving of this award. First of all, I don't even know how you manage everything you do with personal life, working in the ASC, school, editing anthologies, just all this stuff, and yet you still find time to work with the Rook. And the key word I think here is volunteer, like the amount of time that you have put into the Rook, I would consider it a, a full-time job and we haven't even finished it, the editing process yet and already you've done so much through social media, through the covers, trying to reach out to people, submissions, putting the stuff together in the Excel sheets. Like there is no way that I could have done it by myself and I greatly appreciate all of the time that you have put into it and all the nights at 10 p.m. when I'm texting you and asking you about a submission thing or a question to do with the Rook and it has been amazing. So I, would, I think that you definitely deserve this and thank you for everything that you do. Hi, I'm Willow. And I'm Minnie. And we're the leadership of Heroes. This year we have changed how we educate at MSUB. Our biggest change has been the introduction and implementation of our wellness course on D2L. Another big change, but arguably the most exciting one, is our new space in the sub, the Wellness and Diversity Center. Students can stop by to get information and resources to help with their college challenges, as well as we have items such as condoms, feminine products, and masks available. Lastly, Heroes received a national award from NASPA called the Outstanding Peer Education Group. Thank you for watching everyone. And remember, our door is always open. Bye, see you next year. Welcome back. Do you know our campus excels because of our student wor workers? I do, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a great point. Yeah, it's just amazing how many student employees we have on campus and what a great job they do. Do you know how many we have? What's your guess? I don't know. 50-ish? I think you're way off. 
I don't know the number. Am I too high or too low? No, you're too low. Seriously? Yeah. Well, Think they work about it. for all aspects yeah, of campus. Yeah, all aspects. Yeah. Were you ever a student employee? I was, yeah. What, what was your job? As I a was a resident assistant. How about you? Kind of. Yeah. I worked for the foundation and did accounting for the foundation. Yeah. The foundation closed for a little while after I left. I don't know if that's a good thing. No, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't, but it should have. I know. I'm not the best accounting. I'm not very good with numbers. But, anyways. Oh. Okay. Well. The next award, which goes to the student employee leader who has gone beyond their paid responsibilities and has impacts on us all. Staff, fellow students, you name it. It's life changing. Our nominees for the Student Employee Leadership Award are. All right, our nominees, Laura Harrington, Michael Voigt, Courtney Alberts, Erica Smith, Daniel Lurie, and Charlene Almer. And the winner is, where is it? I think there was one in your wallet. Yes. Is that where it's at? Yes, um, but I don't know what it, oh, here it is. One well, second. Maybe not. Yeah, oh, here, okay, wallet. yep, I found it. I was sitting on my wallet. All right, there's my coffee, there's my Stingers card. Yeah, good. great coffee shop on campus. Uh, okay, here you go. Thank you. Yes, let's hear it, I'm And excited. the winner of the 2021 <clears throat> Student Employer Leadership Award goes to Charlene Almer. Charlene. Let's go ahead and turn it over to Charlene's nominator. Congratulations, Charlene, for um, winning this nomination. So I did nominate you for this position because um, you're just such a warm and welcoming presence for anybody who attends our SAB events. And for doing that, you're making everybody who comes feel more comfortable and confident to actually enjoy our events and be a part of them. And so doing that, you are allowing our students to make forever memories and have lasting moments that they'll be able to look back on. So thank you for that and congratulations. And we're gonna be talking about our interns of the year from our colleges. So first up, we have Brianna Barron is the 2020 Intern of the Year from the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, also known as CLASS, only by three people. But we tell every that's what we tell that. everybody. <laughs> Brianna served as an intern for the Poetics for the More Than Human World Poetry Anthology. These are a lot of words they've strung together for me here. It's okay, I can read. Um, and was nominated by her site supervisor, Sarah Nolan, and her faculty supervisor, Bernard Quintenbach. In her nomination, Sarah Nolan said the following of Brianna. Brianna designated, nope, designed, <laughs> created a poetry anthology, which is 500 pages in length and contains work from 140 poets as well as other contributors. In the end, she produced a collection that looks extremely professional. She managed all of this work independently and managed to create something which will soon be published. Go, Brianna. She treated the internship like I would expect a professional to treat a job, which I greatly appreciated. Since we communicated primarily through email, it was important to remain in close contact. Brie responded to every email within a matter of hours, very impressive, always seeming to have answers or solutions in mind. Brianna's faculty supervisor offered similar words. Words are hard to say. It's hard, I'm <laughs> saying that. Brianna was the first student to respond to the announced internship opportunity. Her work throughout the process was exemplar exemplary, at times verging on the heroic. Mm. Creating a massive volume involving complex layout and images, as well as multiple languages, is an extraordinarily complex undertaking, and the completion of both electronic and print versions in the time covered by the internship is especially remarkable. Congratulations, Brianna. I'm impressed, frankly. Next up, we have Natasha Freeman Bat, who is the 2020 Intern of the Year from the College of Business. Cobb. Better known as the COB. <laughs> no one calls it Cobb. Mm, that's fine. We're working on it. I'm gonna get, that's gonna catch. She was nominated by her site supervisor, Abby Cook, from the Office of International Studies at MSU Billings. Abby said the following of Natasha. The internship position was largely, largely done in a remote manner. I might be having a stroke. 
requiring Natasha to be a self-starter and figure out many pieces on her own. She has always been prompt in her email responses and completing projects. Prior to starting this internship last September, Natasha had very little knowledge of website design and development, but this didn't stop her from pushing forward and learning valuable new skills. I taught her much of what I know knew about these areas and with her being a quick learner she was able to take that knowledge in quickly and apply it to her work simply put we would not have been able to get so far along with the study abroad website without natasha's help i have the utmost respect for natasha's endurance and resolve congratulations natasha i hope you at least got to study abroad after all of this maybe like, not this year i feel like that might be too soon it might be <laughs> Kimberly Snyder is the 2020 College of Health Professions and Science Intern of the Year. Chips. Chips. Which we would love some right now, actually. <laughs> she interned at Heart of Montana Love Incorporated and was nominated by her site supervisor, Danielle Barth. Of Kimberly, Danielle said, Kimberly's work ethic impressed me right away. She knows how to take initiative and work hard in a few hours, I might add. She constantly delivered over and above what I asked of her, seizing every opportunity to improve on herself and the task and systems we had entrusted to her. Whenever there was a lull in a task or busyness in the office, you could find Kimberly reading her training materials, working on a side project, following up with those she had delegated tasks to, and even cleaning. Wow. Really though. She was willing to do anything and everything, as evidenced by the cleaning and rereading the training materials, she was willing to do anything and everything to help the team function the best that it could. By the end of her internship, I felt as though Kimberly has taught me a great deal about both professional and even personal growth. Congratulations, Kimberly. That is so sweet. That is precious. That was a great commentary. Yeah. And finally, Dylan Draper is the 2020 Intern of the Year from City College. He was nominated by his site supervisor at Republic Services, Nancy Taylor, who said the following about Dylan's worth. Take it away. Dylan was always on time, even early, every day. That's impressive. <laughs> really though. His Wait, quality of work exceeded all my expectations. He showed me that he could handle every job that was requested of him without a complaint and was willing to learn from his peers and senior mechanics. Congratulations, Dylan. Hello, we represent Multiculture Club. We organize fun events on campus. And we successfully arranged to request our lunch. We learn being active on Multicultural Club Facebook page. And we celebrate International Women's Day in Rimrock Cafe. That's Hello. Hello. It's been so long since we've been out here, my gosh. It's nice to be back and stretch a little. Yeah, very much so. They, they do put us in like a very small like closet space, somewhat coffin-like. I mean, I had, a, I had a nice nap, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm really charged up for this next little bit. Yeah, but we have no idea what's been going on, so. I like... mean, I assume it's been a snooze fest based on the other co-hosts. Sorry, guys. Boing. Well, uh, up next is the award for the International Student Leader. Um, for an international student who's actively involved on campus and in our community, in the classroom, and enhances cultural diversity on our campus. Our nominees are Bosan Abdieva. Am I saying that right? Well, and, well, I mean, you're nominated all the times. So I think that means. Oh, I get the honor of announcing this one. Okay. This time. Well, it's such a nail biter. I mean, it's. Bazan! Woo! Sorry, might have been too loud. Woo! Throw it. Throw my. Congratulations, Bazan, for being awarded for our International Student Leader Award. Bazan, congratulations on your award. This is fantastic news. We are so happy that you are here at MSU Billings, leading our multicultural club, and the Office of International Studies looks forward to more work with you in the future in the summer and next year. So congratulations, Bosan. You deserve this. Bosan, I would like to sincerely congratulate you on receiving the International Student Leadership Award. 
Um, it's really great that you're being recognized for all the hard work and all the contributions that you've made to MSUB and the MSUB community. So yeah, well done and uh, congrats. Hi, Bosan, Alisa here. Congratulations on winning the International Student Leader Award. We have been so impressed by your leadership of the Multicultural Club and all your campus engagement efforts. You've really shined amid the circumstances of this pandemic, and we're so proud of your accomplishments. All of us are looking forward to seeing what you bring next year. Congratulations again. You deserve it. Hi, I'm Sam Curtis, and I'm the president of Out Club. Out Club is a campus group where we meet weekly and we play board games, we talk about politics, we share our struggles as LGBTQ members. So if you're lonely, you're a college student, and you're looking for some community with other LGBTQ members, join us on Fridays at 4 in the Bridge Room for Out Club. And we're back we for are. another award, I think. Yeah, third award. I'm, you know, I think everyone's more interested in where the so winner of the award's gonna come from. Like, is it in your ear? Is it in oh. your hair? Like, where's it gonna come from? <laughs> I'm not touching it if it's in your ear. Like, I don't want that yes, wax situation. I'm not sure, actually. I forgot where I put it, but I'm gonna try to remember before we say it. Not be in your nose either. Okay, we'll figure it Let's out. Let's hope not. Okay. The next award is for the student who's involved on campus and part of an organization who is going above and beyond and all the while are taking care of their family. It sounds like a lot to handle and be stressful. Very stressful. You know, being a college student is stressful on its own. Could you imagine also having children everything and else a family? That, yeah. So many of our students do that. That's amazing to It me. is really cool. Because I have a family and I could imagine being a college student. Yeah. So a again, lot of work. what you're saying. A yeah. lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. The title of this award is long but needed, which is also stressful. I'm, I, I, I'm stressed. But you're, not a, you're not a guy who gets stressed yeah, a lot, Yeah, yeah, good luck with this. The award is striving for excellence in leadership while caring for one's family. That is a kind of a long award. Yeah. Like if you think of the office, you couldn't put it on one of those business no. suit or bowlers. No. The, it wouldn't fit on that. I don't know if we're giving those away or not, but... Yeah. But it explains it. It explains everything in detail. That you need to know. So our nominees for this award are Terry Porta and Elizabeth Madrid. And do we know who the winner is? Is it somewhere? I think I have it. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, I think it's in my wallet, actually. Are you also giving the winner some money? Um, possibly, no, 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 no. Um, that's not right. Oh, fantastic, he has a different yes. something in his wallet. Um, maybe it's in my sleeve. <laughs> there you go. It's all for you. Let's hear who the winner is. Let's hear through who the winner is. Great award. And the winner of this award is Lizbeth Madrid. Congratulations. Let's hand it over to Lizbeth's nominator. Congratulations, Lizbeth. I'm so glad that you won this award. Um, I nominated you uh, because I think that you've got a lot on your plate. Um, you're a SAB member, you work at TRIO, and you take care of a family. Um, that's just a lot and I can't even imagine how busy you must be all while trying to do as good as you can at school. Um, you've come in before SAB events um, and on different days to help set up for those events when you can't make it due to school or family obligations. Um, you're super kind and friendly. Um, you're pretty good at interacting with everybody and um, just the teamwork is awesome and I'm so glad that you were on our SAB team. Um, so congratulations, I'm so happy for you. Well that was fun, super fun. So many great organizations here at MSC Billing, more than 50 actually. Boop, boop, boop. A little fun fact for y'all. Mm -hmm. If you just thought it was chess club, you wrong. There's more than that. Our next award is the Peer Educator Award. This one goes out to you students out there who encourage, empower their fellow students by helping them gain intellectual and interpersonal skills. Do you have intellectual or interpersonal skills? I mean, I clearly don't. I'm asking you this question and we're like <laughs> filming right now. I mean... I couldn't read earlier no, either. It's, it's, 
that comes and goes. Whew, like a wisp. Maybe we need back in the coffin for just, I, just, I know, a, just you a know, respite. Our, our coworker jokes, I have way too many personalities for her, so. That's true. Kind of but depends on which one we pull has, out of the hat. She has thing. a lot of shelter dogs, so, you know. Yeah. You win some, you lose some. And cats. Well, yes. Couldn't well, have said it better myself. <laughs> Our nominees for Peer Educator are Shay Robertus, Ellie Smith, Minnie Bell, Daniel Lurie, and Hisaki Flores. I'd like a drum roll. Just a little teeny one. And the winner is Ellie Smith. Congrats, Ellie. Let's hear it from Ellie's nominator. I have nominated Ellie Smith for the Peer Educator Award. I've known Ellie for the past two years in her role as a resident assistant in Petro Hall. And in those two years, I've seen her be an outstanding student leader, mentor, peer educator, especially to the students around her. I've worked with her through some really intense crisis situations with students, and she shows such continuous care and compassion to all those around her and support. And I know that all the students she's worked with have gained such uh, growth in interpersonal skills, academic skills, decision-making skills especially, because she supported and guided them through all of those tough situations they've had. Um, she's helped students through some of the toughest hurdles that life can throw at you, let alone when you're in college as well and um, she's just been an outstanding mentor for everyone around her. She's the type of student leader that not only leads by example, but really empowers students to seek help and know that they're deserving of help and deserving of success, and to really um, challenge students, those that she works with, um, to achieve the best they can, whatever their goals are in life and in academia here at MSUB. Um, Ellie has shown a wonderful passion, especially for mental health advocacy, support, and mental health issues um, that has really shined through in numerous Bolton Boards programs, events she has hosted. I know Ellie is going to be an amazing nurse after she graduates, and I know she's going to continue to be an advocate, mentor, and wonderful peer educator wherever she is in life. Congratulations, Ellie. Student Activities Board has kept this campus alive with many events this year. We have hosted a colorful tie-dyeing event while eating yummy acai bowls. We have filled your late afternoons with tunes and coffee during our jacket, java, and jams. Late nights were wrapped up with movies and popcorn. We captured Valentine's photos that created a memory that will last a lifetime. Sab has warmed up your winter days with sledding and hot cocoa. We can't wait to bring you more fun and engaging events. You better work. Plot twist! <gasps> We're not done with this award yet because we have another winner! Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Minnie Bell, congratulations! Now let's hear from Minnie's nominator. Congratulations to Minnie Bell on being nominated the winner. I nominated Minnie for this award because she's a passionate advocate for the LGBTQ plus community and survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence. Through her work as the Vice President of Heroes and the Bystander Intervention Specialist, she has made a positive impact on students at MSUB by putting her whole heart and soul into her peer education initiatives and programs. I learned so much from her about life, diversity, inclusivity, mental health, and having love and respect for others. Working alongside her has made me a better peer educator and a better person. MSUB and Heroes is so lucky to have you, Minnie. You wholeheartedly deserve this award. Hi, my name is Daniel Lurie, and I am the Editor-in-Chief for The Rook, which is a literary magazine here on campus. The biggest issue that we kind of faced this year was getting submissions and kind of outreach because a lot of students are online. So we kind of had to shift how we did our advertising, which also meant a lot of social media and getting something put on D2L. And we opened up submissions to alumni, teachers, um, and dual enrolled students along with students just so that we could have a broader range to work with. And we ended up getting like 250 submissions. We're now in the editing process and I think that the magazine is going to be amazing. So I just wanted to say thank you to our amazing Rook staff who's on a volunteer basis and also to everyone that helped us. This year, the Outstanding Undergraduate Leadership Award recognizes scholarship and good citizenship of two graduating seniors. Faculty and staff were asked to nominate graduating seniors for this award, and then the final selections were made by the committee comprised of faculty and staff 
from across the university. The first outstanding undergraduate leadership award goes to Alex Bush. Alex has a 3.4 GPA and is a music performance major from Billings, Montana. According to his nominator, Alex has been an excellent help in the university jazz ensembles, composing and arranging as a jazz club leader. He has spent hours creating and editing student recitals, audio, and video for the music department archives. Creating marketing materials for the music department and along with being the audio engineer, he is the sole student in charge of recording all concerts in Cecil Hall. Alex has played over 20 free concerts at local venues for different charities and fundraisers and often represents MSU Billings. The music department has been improving in visibility and talent over the past four years. Alex is a key element in this endeavor and has allowed MSUB to move to the forefront of local and statewide music performance. His work ethic and positivity inspired younger students with leadership in the jazz and commercial ensembles. He's a perfect example of the kind of student we wish to nurture from the MSU Billings Music Department in that Alex is well-rounded, empathetic, hardworking, multifaceted, and as professional as any musician in the region. Congratulations, Alex. The second outstanding undergraduate leadership award goes to Bryce Peterson. Bryce has a 3.96 GPA and is a health and human performance major. He's from Huntley, Montana. Bryce received a unanimous nomination from the HHP faculty. He has been heavily involved in service and scholarly endeavors during his college career. Bryce has served as an HHP teaching assistant, supplemental instructor for multiple courses, and received the outstanding supplemental instructor leader in the fall of 2019. Bryce has also been a STEM tutor for three years, STEM club secretary, and is currently a volunteer student assistant for the campus COVID-19 testing. Bryce is a student member of the MSUB HHP Department Rank and Tenure Committee and assisted in the formal review of faculty annual review portfolios. His personal scholarly endeavors include the INBRE Undergraduate Research Internship Grant and Bryce obtained funding to complete his HHP Senior Thesis Research Project titled Effects of a Six-Week Combination Resistance Training Program in High School Athletes. This project was completed at Huntley Project High School and results will be presented at the MSUB RCCI Conference in April. Bryce volunteers as a 7th grade basketball coach and a 9 and 10 year old baseball coach for the Huntley Schools. He's a youth group volunteer at his church and has been employed as a pharmacy technician since 2019 with Billings Clinic. Let's congratulate both Alex and Bryce as they make the rest of us feel like slackers. Well, you know, Andrew, there's so many great leaders on this campus. Our students are killing it. Up next, we have the award for senior leadership. A student who is coming up on graduation, leaving us, who has demonstrated leadership, and has been actively involved on campus, striving to bring engagement to our students. And the nominees for senior leadership are Courtney Albert, Samuel Curtis, Alexander Bush, and Robin Cunningham. And the winner of the Senior Leadership Award goes to... Mol Molten? No, it's not Molten! Robin Cunningham! Let's hear what Robin's nominator has to say. Ever since I met Robin my freshman year, he was always busy working to make MSUB the university everyone dreams of attending. He took a huge leap of faith when he left Germany to live here with his family in the United States. He is academically focused and a leader at heart. Robin, throughout the last four years, has started Chi Alpha, became the a ASMSUB Student Resolution Officer, taken a role as the ASMSUB Vice President, and excels in the ROTC program. Robin has worked hard to make the campus all about students. He has come to me to address engagement, attendance rates, and student satisfaction. Robin has been involved with helping the retort build a podcast. He has attended SAB events and he is currently working in the development of the Student Union Building to enhance the students' desire to stay on campus. He is four, his four years have made a huge impact here at MSUB and it will be exciting to see where his future takes him. Congratulations, Robin. I'm Jeffrey Flexing. I am the current president of UCM. I'm also a peer minister. Um, UCM is something to me that bridges divides, not only of political parties, but it's also something that bridges divides of religion as well, uh, with having members of the Jewish church and 
Lutherans and Presbyterians and any other Erian that you can um, under one roof and being able to share religion and uh, how we worship God in our own individual ways is really what UCM means to me, bridging that gap. All right, and that's all for us. Coming up next on Sports Center, it's Shiloh and Brittany. After Sports Center. After Sports Center. Congratulations, Robin. We will miss you. You know, the fact that that was the only time those two referenced Sports Center tonight might be its own record. See, here's the problem. I thought this was Hockey Night in Canada. So, like, I came prepared. Oh, God, help us. So. Not that people use this while watching hockey, but that'll hold him up. <clears throat> Too much? Not enough? Oh, there's more. I mean, <laughs> hockey. It's, it's cold. What's our next award? Unsung Hero. Um, does that, does that mean that we aren't singing their praises? The nominees for Unsung Hero are Brandi Sowens, Elizabeth Dodson, Jesse Reddick, Andy Fulton, and Christian Batista. Thank you, Mr. Beaver. Too much, not enough. And our winner, our winner, the Unsung Hero Award goes to none other than our very own hero from our Rimrock Cafeteria, Chef Andy Fulton. He's truly a hero, and it's not just because the food. I mean, Let's we go there for lunch. Hand it over to Andrew's nominator. Good evening. My name is Aaron Like. I serve as the associate dean of students here at MSU Billings, and I have the unique pleasure to announce the 2021-2022 Unsung Hero Award. The Unsung Hero is someone who works at the university at MSUB who is behind the scenes and just does a lot of work that goes unannounced. So it's my pleasure to announce this year's 2021-2022 Unsung Hero Award winner as Andy Fulton. Andy serves as the executive chef um, within MSUB Dining Services. And since Andy is an unsung hero, many of you may not know who Andy is. Here is Andy right here. You may have seen him down in the dining hall, down in the kitchen. Uh, Andy is a great person. He has been at the university for about a year and he is just an amazing person to, to work with. Uh, Andy is always looking for feedback on how to improve dining services. He's continually out in a dining hall talking to students to try to improve uh, his operation and you know he's always always looking for ways to, to better the experience here at MSUB. Uh, Andy's very creative. He he loves to improve. He loves to um, bring new ideas to the table. Uh, his food is pretty decent. Um, maybe you know maybe some work there. Just kidding. His food is great. So please, if you see Andy on campus, make sure and give him a big congratulations as he is this year's Unsung Hero Award. Congrats, Andy. Surprise. We're back. Back at it again. We're here to say goodbye and, you know, pass it off to mm -hmm. some of those other people. And bienvenue to, uh, is it Sorry. Ed and Aaron after us? I believe so. Yeah, we'll welcome them. Take Bye. it away. And we're back one final time. It's time to say goodbye. Sad stuff, Aaron, sad stuff. It is sad. I just want to, I want to keep going. I know, we could probably do this all the time. We I know. Should, maybe we should just do this. So many time. students to recognize. Can we just recognize students all the time? We should. It should. We'll yeah. do that. We'll yeah. continue yeah. to do that. Yeah. It's been a pleasure being your co-hosts. Probably the funniest ones too. Did you see those athletic guys doing this? No, I didn't want to watch them. Yeah, not very good. Not very good? Yeah. Uh -huh. Just kidding, Evan and Andrew, great guys. That, well, doesn't mean they did a good job, but it means yeah. they're great job guys, good guys. It's the end of our time together, but before we leave, it's time to give a big applause for our students and the winner, winners and the nominees of this year's Leadership Recognition Program. Let's give clapping, yeah. shouting, let's yeah. do it all. Wherever you big are. applause, wherever you're at. Get loud. We want to thank everyone involved, the nominators, student orgs, the camera, of course, and the people behind the scenes, and everyone who showed up for this event. Yeah, it's, I mean, what can you say? Nothing. 
amazing, amazing students we have on this yeah. campus. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Great job, everybody. A quick word for the winners. Stop by the Center for Engagement office. Where, where is the Center for Engagement? Just in case, you know, maybe they might not know where it's at. Most of them should, but where, where would they Student go? Student Union Building, second floor. Just like you're going to Stingers, but go up the big steps and you'll find it. Perfect. And when you go there, you're going to pick up your plaque and a certificate. Is there anything we forgot? Um, I'm sure we forgot to mention something, but people can always reach out to us and we'll tell them later. Okay. That sounds like a great thing. Once again, congratulations to everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day, week, whatever it may be, and celebrate. 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 Thank you all. Thank you. supermarket sweep <laughs> yeah that's how I would like to shop get the diapers get the ham I am blind okay. yeah it's not in the script so <laughs> that was something let me tell you our sound tech has told us we need to bring it down a little so. I feel like I'm being silenced we are actually but that's not gonna be okay. <laughs> I love videos. <laughs> because we have another winner! I think that's what he mouthed to that. No. <laughs> Probably. Do you want me to redo that? No. No, I love it. Oh, okay. Keep going. Nickelback. Andrew was standing in line to close on navigating. No. No. So no COVID jokes, I imagine. Still too soon. Yeah, no. yeah if, if you can refrain. The, oh my, this guy's gonna get us fired live streaming us. I don't understand Zoom, I got kicked out of Zoom earlier today. That could have been because I kept closing the laptop because I didn't want to be a part of the meeting. Hey everyone, we are Ed Brown and... <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> you, no, you have to introduce me. Hey everyone, we are Ed Brown, the Director of Admissions. Hey. Can't say your name? Video. Dude, that is so it, gross. It actually was, was like, so, so <laughs> I like grabbed it and I was sanitizer! like. Sanitizer! <laughs> they have mean skills, yes, but they go the extra mile. They don't roll your eyes. I messed up. <laughs> Brie Baron. <laughs> that was so awkward. Brie Baron. <laughs> Brie Baron. Perfect. Oh my gosh. You're like in the shadows, Cole, and I was like, oh, he's laughing at me. <laughs> and let's find out who the winner is. Winner. No, nope, sorry. <laughs> and let's find out who the winner is. Bing! Oh, I thought you wanted us to do the thing. Do we need and uh... Clapping enthusiastically. Uh... <laughs> Brie Baron.